This is Signal Hounds talking RF, and today we're talking configuration parameters for a sweep in spike, specifically resolution bandwidth, video bandwidth, acquisition, and configuration traces. The sweep settings control panel in Spike controls the sweep acquisition parameters for a device in standard swept analysis and real time modes, allowing users the flexibility to make the adjustments needed in their span. Hello, welcome to Talking RF. I'm Tom Lane, the president of Six Signal Hound. The resolution bandwidth frame allows us to adjust what we can resolve with the spectrum analyzer. We can, by default, leave it at auto RBW and the software will determine based upon your, sp your span and the device that you're using, uh, what the best resolution bandwidth is for resolving the signals that you have or that you're seeing on the, on the, on the display. So as, I, as you can see, I can leave the resolution bandwidth set at 200 kilohertz and then just sort of decrease the span and we can resolve the multiple signals that, that I have close together in that, in that frame. But if I adjust the resolution bandwidth up, notice that my sweep time decreases, but the signals that I can resolve decreases and what were four, seven different signals is now just one signal blob in the middle. So I can put that back down to what it, the default was at about 100 kilohertz and we can actually resolve the, the seven different peaks. There's another bandwidth filter that we can adjust in the bandwidth settings and that's the video bandwidth filter. And the video bandwidth filter is an additional filter that will filter on the amplitudes post the resolution bandwidth filter. Adjusting this video bandwidth filter will have an impact on sweep speeds. It will increase the sweep speeds, but it can get rid of some of the noise. With Spike software, if the RBW and the VBW are equal, then the video bandwidth filter is disabled. It's not on. Um, also with Spike, the video bandwidth filter must be set less than the RBW filter in order for the video bandwidth filter to take effect. So I will go ahead and adjust down and you can see in the display that the video bandwidth filter is actually having an impact on some of the noise within the signal. The last pane that, that we can actually make adjustments in sweep settings is the acquisition pane where we can adjust the video units from power to log to voltage to sample. We'll leave it at power. We can adjust the detector from an average detector to minute max and we can also set and adjust the sweep time and the sweep interval rather than letting the software determine what the sweep time and slash sweep interval will be based upon your span settings. So those are the sweep settings that we can adjust in swept analysis mode. Let's look over at the traces. So the spike software allows you to have up to six different traces that we can display on the screen simultaneously. Right now we have this one trace um, on by default and I have it set up as clear and right, which is the default setting. Clear and right just writes across the screen and then clears and writes the next one as you get frame by frame through the, through the images of the FFT plots. Um, I could choose max hold, which will, which will do exactly what it's saying, which is holding on the max values. You could choose min hold, holding on the min values. Um, you can choose an average, etc. I'll leave the initial, I'll leave trace one at clear and right. But I can enable additional traces. Uh, let's do trace two. We can set trace two up as a max hold and make sure it's not hidden. So I, I now see the max hold and then I will go ahead and enable trace three and we'll set trace three up as min hold. And then you can see that there is a difference. You have the min value, you have the max value, and then you have the average, which is being displayed in the, in, on the yellow trace, trace one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like, follow, and subscribe for more Signal Hound and RF content.